Beijing, the world-famous ancient capital, has a history dating back more than 3,000 years and more than 800 years as the capital of China. Home to more UNESCO World Heritage Sites than any other city on Earth, Beijing has a rich imperial style and a distinctly Chinese character. South of the Forbidden City, the extensive Tiananmen area lies opposite Tiananmen Square. Tiananmen Square is one of the most emblematic places in Beijing and part of what is known as the central axis of the capital. As the core of the spatially symmetrical old Beijing city, central axis and surrounding areas form a masterpiece of ancient and contemporary urban planning that reveals how Chinese people applied science, aesthetics and ancient philosophy into the design of a capital city. Ever since it was chosen as the nation's capital, Beijing has amazed visitors with its central axis. The axis is the backbone of Beijing and runs from south to north. The central axis is one of the most important cultural lines in Beijing. It starts from Yongding Men in the south and stretches to the Bell and Drum Tower in the north. We're now at the Bell and Drum Tower. The total length of the line is 7.8 kilometers. Walking through Beijing can feel like traveling through time, and the journey from one century to the next can often be taken by turning a corner. Within the last few decades, Beijing has transformed into one of the most modern, dynamic and global cities in the world. Its landmarks include the monumental Olympic Park and Bird's Nest Stadium. Even more impressive than its huge size is its unprecedented design. Envisioned as the iconic centerpiece for Beijing Olympics, the Bird's Nest National Stadium is an architectural expression of China's pride and bourgeoisie confidence. The stadium is at the north end of Central Axis and it is a symbol of the new, super modern Beijing. What was the impact of the Olympic Games 2008 for Beijing in terms of economic development, infrastructures and tourism industry? The 2008 Olympic Games held in Beijing spread the Olympic culture, promoted the Olympic spirit, enriched the meaning of the Olympic Games and promoted the healthy and sustainable development of the Games. It also maximized the educational function of the Olympic Games and achieved the Games' lofty goals. The impact is far-reaching, irreplaceable and positive. Since the closing ceremony of the 2008 Games, the bird's nest has become a huge tourist attraction. Now the Chinese capital is preparing for the 2022 Winter Olympic Games. It's set to become the first city in history to stage both Summer and Winter Olympics. The Great Wall of China is one of the wonders of the medieval world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's the largest man-made structure ever built. The Great Wall is not only a triumph of engineering, but also a direct link to the legendary emperors of China's past. The Great Wall is not simply a building complex, but an exquisite masterpiece of stone art left over from the Ming Dynasty. Standing on the Great Wall in all seasons, you can see the extending Yancheng Mountain and large areas of maple trees reminding you of the glory of ancient China. The Mutianyu section of the wall has a charming and unique structure. What makes it even more special are the three watchtowers open to visitors. The Chinese government has made the protection and restoration of the wall a priority. In 2006, it promulgated the Great Wall of Protection Ordinance.
We have a lot of visitors every year, and the tiles have been damaged. We use traditional methods to repair the wall and protect its cultural relics. We have specific standards for making replacement bricks and floor tiles. We even use traditional techniques for it. Time is up. We hope you've enjoyed our amazing journey into the ancient and modern culture of Beijing. From all of us here, Chai Qian, and thanks for watching.